मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर द हीट ऑफ कन्वर्शन ऑफ कार्बन टू सी ओ टू इज माइनस थ्री नाइन्टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव किलो जूल पर मोल द हीट रिलीज अपॉन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट टू ग्राम ऑफ सी ओ टू फ्रॉम कार्बन एंड ऑक्सीजन गैस इज एंड फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवेन लेटस राइट द इक्वेशन सी प्लस ओ टू सी ओ टू दिस इज कम्बशन ऑफ वन मोल कार्बन और दिस इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वन मोल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो इन थैलेपी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन इन दिस रिएक्शन शुड बी इक्वल टू इन थैलेपी ऑफ कम्बशन एंड द वैल्यू गिवेन फॉर दिस इन थैलेपी चेंज इज माइनस थ्री नाइंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव किलो जूल पर मोल इट मीन्स वेन वन मोल सी ओ टू इज फॉर्म वन मोल सी ओ टू इज फोर्टी फोर ग्राम सी ओ टू वेन फॉर्म हीट रिलीज इज माइनस थ्री नाइंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज इन थैलेपी ऑफ रिएक्शन इज माइनस थ्री नाइंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव किलो जोल वेन वन ग्राम सी ओ टू इज फॉर्म heat released will be this much when 35.2 g co2 is obtained then heat released will be 393.5 by 44 into 35.2 kJ or this is equal to minus 314.8 किलो जोल सो आंसर शुड हैव द न्यूमरल वैल्यू माइनस थ्री फोर्टीन पॉइंट एट किलो जोल फर्स्ट ऑप्शन नॉट करेक्ट सेकेंड ऑप्शन नॉट करेक्ट थर्ड ऑप्शन इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू सो थर्ड ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट वन इन फोर्थ ऑप्शन साइन गिवन इज पॉजिटिव सो दिस वन विल बी द इन करेक्ट आंसर so correct answer of this question is third option next question is question number 25 20 g of a magnesium carbonate sample decomposes on heating to give carbon dioxide and 8 g of magnesium oxide What will be the percentage purity of magnesium carbonate in the sample? Four options given are first sixty, second eighty-four, third seventy-five, and fourth one is ninety-six. In this question, we have to calculate percentage purity of given sample, and this will be equal to mass of magnesium oxide obtained experimentally by mass of magnesium oxide obtained theoretically into 100 now in this question it is mentioned that 20 g magnesium carbonate when decomposed by heating 8 g magnesium oxide is obtained so by the experiment we obtained 8 g magnesium oxide now we have to calculate theoretical mass of magnesium oxide which should be obtained so we will write the equation magnesium carbonate upon heating decomposes to give magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide one mole magnesium carbonate that is 84 g magnesium carbonate upon heating gives one mole magnesium oxide it means 40 g magnesium oxide is obtained so when 1 g magnesium carbonate is heated it will give this much of magnesium oxide and according to the question 20 g of magnesium carbonate is decomposed so that will produce 40 by 84 
into 20. It means ideally the mass obtained of magnesium oxide should be equal to 9.52 gram. Now we will put the theoretical value of magnesium oxide in this expression. 9.52 gram into 100. Okay. When this is solved, it is equal to 84%. So correct answer should have 84 First option is 60, second option numeral value is 84, it means correct answer is second option. Next question is question number 26. What is the mole fraction of the solute in a 1 molal aqueous solution? First option 0 0.0354, second option 0 0.0177. Third option 0.177 and fourth option 1.770. We have to calculate the mole fraction. And mole fraction of solute, it means number of moles of solute by Number of moles of solute plus number of moles of solvent. In this question it is mentioned that solution is one molal solution. So we can say that one mole solute is present in one kg water. Number of moles of solute 1. Denominator number of moles of solute 1. And solvent is 1 kg. 1 kg which is equal to 1000 gram which is equal to 1000 by 18 moles. Mass divided by molecular mass will give the number of moles of water. 1000 by 18 this is 55.5. So mole fraction of solute will be equal to 1 by 56.5. And if it is solved, the answer is coming 0 0.0177. So correct answer is the second option. Second option is the correct answer.